Definition. Early pregnancy loss is defined as a non-viable intrauterine pregnancy with either an empty gestational sac or a gestational sac containing an embryo or fetus, without fetal heart activity, within the first 13 weeks of gestation. What causes early pregnancy loss? About half of early miscarriages happen when the embryo does not develop properly. This often is due to an abnormal number of chromosomes. Most miscarriages happen during the first trimester of pregnancy, which is about the first 13 weeks. The symptoms can include bleeding from the vagina with or without pain, including light bleeding called spotting, pain or cramping in the pelvic area or lower back. Therefore, failed early pregnancy, sometimes termed embryonic demise, refers to the death of the embryo and therefore miscarriage. The most common cause of embryonic death is a chromosomal abnormality, as earlier said. All text that we are, findings diagnostic of pregnancy failure will include, 1. Crown rump length of greater than or equals to 7 mm and no heartbeat on a transvaginal scan. 2. Mean sac diameter of greater than or equals to 25 mm and no embryo on a transvaginal scan. 3. Absence of embryo with heartbeat 2, weeks after a scan that showed a gestational sac without a yolk sac. 4. Absence of embryo with heartbeat greater than or equals to 11 days after a scan that showed a gestational sac with a yolk sac. 5. Sac with no embryo and a mean sac diameter less than 12 mm on initial scan that fails to double in size on a scan greater than or equals to 14 days later. 6. Sac with no embryo and a mean sac diameter of greater than or equals 12 mm on initial scan, with no embryo heart activity on a scan, greater than or ek 7 days later. 7. Embryo, irrespective of crown rump length, without cardiac activity on initial scan and on repeat scan, greater or equals 7 days later. 8. Cessation of a previously documented cardiac activity of embryo, irrespective of crown rump length. 9. Crown rump length of less than 7 mm and no heartbeat. 10. Mean sac diameter of 16 to 24 mm and no embryo. 12. Absence of embryo, greater or equals 6 weeks after last menstrual period. 13. Absence of embryo when amnion seen adjacent to yolk sac. Empty amnion sign. 14. Embryo present with amnion visible around it but no hub sensor beat, expanded amnion sign. 15. Yolk sac that is separated from an embryo when crown rump length is less than or equals 5 mm. That is, the yolk stalk sign, and are an enlarged yolk sac, greater than 7 mm. These are practical points. When there are findings suspicious for pregnancy failure, follow up ultrasonography at 7 to 14 days to assess the pregnancy for viability is generally appropriate. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Please subscribe for more educative contents. Please subscribe.